So today I'm returning to my adventure in my garage. You gotta love the Swiss cheese the previous owner did to this wall. Well, among all the Swiss cheese that was done, I got to find out that the battery's no good in my garage door opener since I had to kill power to the garage. Only took me 15 breakers to figure out which one it is since it's not labeled. Thank you, whoever did that. But now I got no power at these outlets because I'm not just here to spackle now like I was hoping I was just going to spackle. Unfortunately a hole ended up in the wall. Oy. Okay so with that hole in the wall let's put this right here and we'll go one here. Might even replace this outlet it kind of sucks but it doesn't hold on to anything. So power is dead. So I could disconnect the electricity in here. That's how I found out though about the garage door opener. But now, this broke and I looked inside and well, I could see wood. Which, since I see wood, that's telling me that there's nothing for insulation in this wall. So now instead of me just spackling up the wall, like I was hoping to. I lost the argument with the wife. That wall I'm not gonna touch right now. This wall though, since this sheetrock's already in terrible condition, I'm able to move forward with insulating it and then I'll spackle and paint and then the whole garage I'm gonna paint up. But fortunately I didn't win that argument with the wife. And you know, sometimes you just gotta give in a little, even if I know it's better to insulate the whole garage. But I mean, Sometimes you just do things that make others happy and one wall at least over the two will at least help a little bit. And then I throw a heater in here. I mean, then when I get time and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not rich. So I mean, the house is expensive, moving a lot of stuff is not, well moving is mostly me. I'll have to put pay movers for the big furniture. But I mean, it's just expensive. Everybody that's ever owned the house knows that. So. Let's get started. I'm gonna disconnect the electric, then get the power back on for this room so that I don't have to hear this thing beeping away. But hey, I, I'm learning all about this. I never had one of these before. And I learned the orange flash and the beep every once in a while means the battery's toast. I mean, this thing's had power for a while, so. Before I do any work in my garage, I'm gonna rip the sheetrock off the wall. We're gonna remove this electrical box. Finding the breaker was interesting. It took me about 15 different breakers before I found it. Always verify. Make sure you don't have any power. Because the last thing you want to do is find out that you thought you had it off, but you didn't. So with an electric meter, I always prefer the electric meter over anything else. I mean, this outlet, I even feel like I need to just chunk it, get a better one because the blades feel loose, but zero. So we have no voltage here. Now let's remove the cover. Drop the screw. There we go. We verified there's no power. So let's take this off. Apologize about the beeping noise, but that's because I have no power in the garage. So we got those off. Now we have two Phillips screws here. A six and one is all you really need. But I'm gonna use a drill. Just makes it a little easier. I also wanna get rid of that beeping noise. It kinda gives me a headache. Another problem that came with the house. The garage door has no battery or battery that doesn't work. I don't know which one. But it's later on the adventure. So now what I want to do, I have wires going in to the house, two of them, and then one going from here over to that outlet. I wouldn't be surprised if the wi other wire is going to the outlet on the other side of the garage. So since they don't know which ones are hot, which ones are not, we're gonna remove all of them. If you don't do this often, I recommend 
not using a drill like I just did because if you go too far, the screw's gonna fall off. Now the other side of my switch is my neutrals and ground. You only gotta loosen a little bit. Oop, that guy's all stripped up. Now it looks like I'm not reusing this. I might have a spare screw though for there. Somebody stripped it up. They probably used the drill to put it in. Wouldn't surprise me because whoever owned this house before had no idea what they were doing. Hot water comes out of the cold water. When you turn it to cold, hot water comes out. There's just so many things in this house. I'm not gonna get into it now. I don't wanna sound like I'm bitching. Now, I don't know which wire is hot. So, let's see. Since I don't know the hot wire yet, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, every one but the one going across, I'm gonna cut the blacks off. And then once I got the black cut off, I'm gonna tape and wire nut it. Just as a safety. It's always better to be safe than, well, to have your hair stick up and feel that weird tingling feeling through your arm. I mean, like, what is that? Why do I feel weird? Meanwhile, you're just getting electrocuted. As long as nothing's on, it's okay. When you got a load on in the house, well, you don't want that. The thing that sucks is I don't have a lot of slack on, on these wires. So, that's kind of making me not want to cut that off, but just clip it down. And I'm gonna wire nut it, and then tape it. And then when I turn the power back on, I could always then see which one's hot, and then the other one doesn't matter if it's covered or not. But I don't know if I have any play in the walls and these don't come out too far, so I really don't want to eliminate it. I may, worst case scenario, I could put a 1900 box inside the wall, make my splice, and extend the wire over. But I hate splices hidden in the wall. And this one I know where. It's just going through the track over there, so I'm not worried about this being hot. Now that I say that, I'm gonna regret it. Nah. <laughs> Even the grounds I don't need. Neutral shouldn't be hot. Like, I don't know. This couldn't have been an electrician, because why are there all different lengths of wire? Just doesn't make any sense. I said nothing in this house makes any sense and I love it how the realtor and everybody's like oh no you can't really do your own inspection because it won't hold up when it's time for the sale yeah but if I did my own inspection there's so many things I would have caught I feel like when we did the inspection they rush you through everything and they want you out so fast how the hell are you supposed to want to spend so much money on a house and not go through everything I remember the first house I showed up and after like two and a half hours, the realtor's like, whoa, what are you doing? You're not allowed to inspect the house until you don't, until like the other realtors here. I was just doing a walkthrough with you real fast. I thought, I was like, really? Are you serious? You people think I'm gonna spend money and not look at stuff? I don't think so. I don't play those games. Okay, so let's put that on there. They're neutrals, they don't mean anything. I don't have to, it's just decoration. I like to decorate things with wire nuts. What could I say? Now that I got this disconnected, what I'm gonna do is this, going across to that outlet right there. That's That outlet's getting moved all the way down to the other corner. I see no reason to have this here and that there. I might as well just take that and put it all the way to the other side. Just makes sense to me. I mean, why have these so close? And now, well, I'm gonna put the power back on and it's time to open this up. So now let's, now let's rip this off the wall. Gotta get this box out. I separated the grounds. For now, I 
didn't check which hot is what. Probably should have, but this has got to be some kind of track channel. Let's see, okay, that's just the fitting. What holds this on? A lot of times these things just snap together. Here we go. And get a little screwdriver in there to separate it. <laughs> Stuff is it's getting scattered everywhere. I mean, I just worked on this project. This is going back to Home Depot. We got a Leica. We got a friggin' Leica. It's closed. No. Yeah, it's closed. So that's just whatever residuals in there, which I probably should have the garage door open until that finishes. I keep forgetting this is a left, a left tighten, right loosen, which I'm just not used to. Make sure that's closed. Miss that screwdriver. That would be perfect for this. I feel like my tools are scattered everywhere from doing way too many projects at one time. There we go. This might be perfect for what we're doing. It's another channel I could see here. It's tucked into the box. Not really, but I think it's trying to just tell me, hey, just move the box. Just get the box out of your way, then you could do a lot of other things. back kind of snap together somehow it looks like it should I don't know if it does or doesn't probably does two piece or okay yeah there's locks now for the channel. This is a one piecer. We just have to get this to separate. Okay. One of the back end is screwed in. Not nah, glued. <laughs> a little glue. Everything is freaking glued here. So I'm not even going to worry about opening. I'm just pulling off at this point. Open that outlet up. Take this off the wall. Mounted reel, screwed right in the sheetrock. Pretty much is, which is why I feel like I just got to rip this wall off. I was taking those cabinets off and everything. Swiss cheese. All right, let's move the drill. Do I pull the sheetrock to put back? Or do I pull the chuck? I'm gonna pull the put back. I'm gonna guess there's a stud here. This stuff looks pretty bad. The upper board looks pretty good. But I don't know if I'll be able to tuck into it all the way to the top, the insulation. I'm sure there's nails coming through the wall this way. So let's attack it with a rubber hammer. 
see what happens. Bomb! I found the beam. <laughs> the homeowner couldn't find that, but I found the beam. Let's just see. No. I got something there. I would think this would be a beam. That's where all the screws are. But it's not. Nah, no beam. And as I got a second hole, again, no insulation. Oh, the whole wall's gotta get ripped. Join me next time as I rip this wall out. Cause this whole thing's coming out so I can insulate. <laughs>